Hello! Today in Koopa, we are going to go over where is my stuff? Which may seem like a really weird question, um, but there's so many different ways to manage things in Koopa that you need to do, that you need to watch, that you need to be aware of, that I think this is a really good video to kind of show you where things might be. So you may think that these top buttons where you see requests and orders and invoices might be the place to go when in fact they're not. These are actually uh, tabs to where we can see everything in Koopa from all users, sometimes multiple properties, sometimes all properties depending on your access. So if you're truly interested in things that are for you, that you need to watch, that you need to be aware of, there's a couple different places you can go or start, but any way you look at it, you kind of always end up in the same place. So the first place is this recent activity area, and it's always going to show you five of your most recent activities. Now you can select this view all button and it will take you to where we're going to go next. Um, and if you select view all, it's actually going to take you into your activity. The next place on your homepage is this to-do list. Now your to-do list is only valid if you have your notifications turned on. So if you've turned off specific notifications, if you have them turned off for specific reasons, your to-do list may or may not be as helpful as you want it to be. So definitely make sure you're checking your notifications in your settings and that they you have the ones turned on that should matter to you. My suggestion, if it says me, my, or I, you should probably have it turned on. So those are the two places on your homepage you can go. The next place and really the final place is under your name, there's this activity button. And that is really the best place to go when you are looking for things that are yours. And that's from every standpoint. So requisitions, orders, order changes, invoices, doesn't matter, right? This is where everything that is attached to you is kind of housed in Koopa. And by attached, there's a couple different uh, scenarios here. So as you can see, I requested these items, but it looks like um, Abby requested these. I actually requested on her behalf. Um, and so you can see in several areas here, it's either I created it, it was requested on my behalf, I requested it on someone else's behalf, I'm a watcher, I'm an approver. Those are all of the different scenarios in which we can um, be attached to a document. So you can actually go in requisitions, orders, order changes, and see all of these areas. So under requisitions, it does give me all of my actions that I have available. So I can sort through my requisitions, um, a pending, pending my approval or pending someone's approval is this button. Pending receipt, meaning that it's been ordered and can be received. Um, requiring action, this could be um, an approval, a deletion, um, anything like that. And then you can see these kind of are pretty self-explanatory, so you can filter through these as you want. And these filters exist on every level. So if you're really looking for like actionable items, you could have actions for requisitions, orders, invoices, right? All of those documents may or may not require an action from you. So this is really the area that you can go in and just double check. So I know I really like to requiring my approval for requisitions and you can see there's a bunch in here. Now, do I have to come in here every time? Heck no. Um, I can turn off my notification. I can have my notification turned on. Doesn't matter. But I can always get this view sent to me regularly through the report button. So it doesn't matter what view it is. As long as it's a single view that you've selected and you want this data sent to you, you can use the schedule an email button and I can actually get all of the requisitions requiring my approval emailed to me once a day. So I can see them, take action on them, ask questions about them. Um, and this is a much, I think, more streamlined way than trying to manage a bunch of incoming emails, which I will tell you, I also have those turned on. That way this report kind of reminds me at the end of the day if, if I've missed anything. So, and you can always say, if it's empty, don't send it to me. So that's one way to manage the request. Orders 
um, are really just everything that's been placed. Um, what you're looking for in terms of actionable is order changes. So if someone you report to has requested an order change, it's going to be here again, requiring my approval. And you can send this to yourself so you can get a reminder that you have to go in and, and approve these before the PO can be changed. Invoices kind of work the same way. Except in invoices, there's actually two separate actions in the invoice section that you might have to take. One is approval and one is receipt. And so one of the things there is the pending um, my requiring my approval. So I can select this and it's going to show me every invoice that is the systems waiting on my approval for. Okay. Um, and then I can, again, I can email this to myself. I can manage it through notifications. I can do both. Totally up to me. Um, and it's going to show me once it finishes filtering out the many, many invoices that I are waiting on my approval. You can see there's the approve button. So I can just go through here. And if I am, I'm very sure that these are coded correctly, that they should be paid. I can click this approve button. I never click the approve button. I always go into the invoice and read it first. Very good habit to get into. Um, and you're kind of wondering, well, what about the other thing? So that's approvals. What about receiving? So receiving would be kind of the same thing. You can um, filter requiring my action, but if you have a bunch of stuff going on, um, that may be a little hard to, to kind of sort through. Um, if things are requiring approval and requiring um, receipt. One of the things you're going to notice is this status here. So pending approval basically means it's pending someone's approval. Um, if it's pending receipt, that is where a receipt of some kind is necessary. So I'm actually, to kind of filter and show you guys, I'm actually going to use the advanced search button status and I am actually going to just click pending receipt and search. Now, the reason it's not showing me anything is because my filter's weird. So here's everything that's pending my receipt. Now notice there's not an approve button over here because I'm not approving this, I'm receiving it. I'm telling the system that I've received this service, that I've received um, the item, whatever it is, the system's waiting for me to receive this. So how I would go about that is I can click on the invoice and the invoice is going to take me in here. I can scroll down and it's going to say, this is business cards. Here's the PO number. Um, you're missing a receipt of 500 business cards. It needs to happen. And then you would go through the process of uh, receiving it. The easiest way would be to click on the purchase order, scroll to the bottom and hit the receipt button. Um, you may not have that button because sometimes if you don't have central receiving access, you don't. So you can always go back, get the PO number. You can copy it, go back into your activity. This is always nice. Go to orders or, and you can find it here and then use the truck symbol and receive against this, this purchase order. So that is how you can kind of check your to-do list um, once a month just to make sure once a day, kind of up to you on how frequent, that you don't have requisitions pending your approval, orders pending your approval, or invoices pending your approval, or pending your receipt. So that is how you check into that. Hopefully this has been helpful. Have a good day.